Did you guys know that sometimes InnoModel sends an extra set of wheels with these models? And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install those wheels starting right now. What's going on collectors? James here with Model Cars Houston. I'm posting up at least one video a week, every Monday. So if you're interested in this hobby, wanna learn more about it, or just kind of understand what exactly is it that all this entails, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you stay up to date. All right guys, so what we've got here is we've got the model, we've got a Phillips here, I've got a couple here just to make sure, and I've got this special little handheld drill bit. This may or may not be needed, but I kind of have this handy just in case. Uh, what this is used for is if you have to open it up just slightly enough bigger to get the axle in there, then I use one of these. So this is the new NSX RGT from Inno. Uh, I did a video on this last time and you can find that video right there. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's all inside. As you can see, it already has aftermarket wheels, but we get another little goodie inside. So with aftermarket wheels, you'll notice that they sneak them, sneak them right underneath the package here, right there. That's where your aftermarket wheels are going to be. So we wanna pull that out. And then we also wanna pull out the model. Uh, the model obviously would need to come off the base, so let's remove the acrylic carefully. Grab the model car. You'll see that it's got a Phillips here. You'll remove that. Uh, you'll notice that it also has this auxiliary plastic piece just, just so that they can center the model onto this base. So we'll put that to the side. Here's the model car. This one, you're probably gonna have to do a little bit extra work to get to the wheels. Some of the other ones, you just remove the two bolts that's right here at the bottom. But in this case, let me show you what I'm talking about. So for the first part, pretty easy, right? You just remove this one here. One Phillips up at the front. For the back, you actually have to remove this exhaust to get to the second screw. I'll show you that right here. Now, removing this exhaust, uh, you may have to be careful with it. I don't know how easily it's gonna come off for you, but for me, so there you go. Exhaust is removed, and now you can remove the second Phillips. Pop that bad boy out. There it is. And now you can remove the base from the body, okay? There's the base there. Here's the rear set of wheels. Here's the front set of wheels. And then some cool stuff, if you wanna just kinda of take a gander, that's how they do the interior on these. It's nice, metal, die cast. All right, so we'll put those to the side. Here are the two wheels. So what we need to do is we need to extract these little holders. This is what lines the wheels up in there. So we would need to remove that here by twisting one of the wheels off. There you go, one came off. I can slide both of them off. So let's save it for that one. You just slide that back on. So what you wanna do is you want to get the length of this the same as possible for the new set. So let's open up the new set of wheels here. And these are nice. They look like TE37s. It's pretty cool. It's got the little stickers on there and everything. It's kind of nice how they give you two aftermarket styles that are popular. This is more like the uh, BBS and this is like the Volks. So I just drop all those out. So now you can see here are the wheels, two axles for front and back. So what we want to do is you want to grab one axle, you want to grab one wheel, and you want to apply pressure while you're inserting it but at the same time, you want to turn this as you're going in. Okay, so in my case, it actually came out pretty easy to push that in there. Now, there's a couple of other ways to go about this. You can hold a set of pliers right here at the stem. Just clamp it like that. While you're holding it with the pliers from here, you can spin this wheel on. That's one other way to do it. The ones with the little nub sticking out, you wanna put those in first. And then, you wanna get your other set of wheels and put it on the other end and hopefully that'll get you super close to the length that you need it to be. So that's one, and let's do the other one. A few moments later. All right, that's all there is to it. So let's put it on the car and see what it looks like. So to put it back on the car, you wanna put the interior in first. All right, so once you've got, once you've got all your wheels in place, you wanna put it on the interior panel. So line up those hubs the way you took them off, you'll see that there's a little slot for it on both sides. 
So once you've got the front wheels on, you are ready to put the base back on. There you go. Screw on the back. Just hold it down so it doesn't pop off. All right, guys, there you have it. You've got your Inomonos with fresh new wheels. Uh, this looks awesome. They even turn here a little bit, so that's kind of nice. It's not as static. And then if you're done with it and you want to put it back on its face, you do so like so. Yeah, this looks a lot better. I love how it accents well with the black bits as opposed to the BBS wheels, but still cool nonetheless. And another cool thing is that any Inno models that you have, these wheels would be interchangeable. So now you've got the wheels, you can actually put them on any single car that's out there. All right, so question of the day, which wheels do you like better? Do you like the TE37s or do you like the BBS? Let me know down in the comment section below. Would love to hear your input on it and I'll be sure to respond to every single one. And I hope to continue to do some more how-to videos in the future. So stay tuned.